What's up everyone, Lang Whitaker here from Grind City Media and it's time for another Cooking with Lang. You don't have to go to a sports bar to get amazing crunchy calamari. We're gonna make calamari here tonight for dinner. It's easy, I'm gonna do it, you can do it with me. Let's do it together. Today we are making calamari. Okay, I'm cutting open this squid. Uh, calamari is squid, you know that. And you can buy it frozen in these bags, which is what I usually do and just keep one in my fridge. Uh, keep one in my freezer until my son's ready for calamari because it's one of his favorites. Or a lot of fish markets have fresh calamari. This comes already cut, so it's kind of cut into these uh, squares. I'm gonna put them in this bowl. And then it also, you get the tentacles. Um, this one's kind of like the whole little guy. Usually the other part is on this side and that's what is in this bag. So I'm gonna put all of these in this bowl and then gonna give them a little bit of time to marinate while I get everything else ready. Um, it's gonna be pretty easy, pretty simple, maybe like a 20 minute, 15 minute time to marinate because um, this is a pretty quick recipe. And what I'm gonna use to marinate them, buttermilk. Uh, it's milk that has some acid added to it. Uh, you can make your own actually, if you Google it, it's just milk and vinegar, or you can buy it. It, it does a really nice job of tenderizing and uh, adding a little flavor to the squid. I'm just gonna put enough to kind of help cover it. Save the rest, make pancakes, make salad dressing or something. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of salt in there to kind of get some flavor in there with it. And uh, that's it. There's two ways to cook calamari. One's on the grill. The other way that I like to do is to deep fry it because you want that crunch and the flavor and all that stuff. So I've got two cups of all-purpose flour here in this bowl. And then we're gonna season the flour. I have one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon each of black pepper and garlic powder and then a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, which isn't spicy, but it has that smoky flavor that you kind of want when you fry stuff. So all this is gonna go in with the flour. That's gonna season our flour and it's gonna make our calamari taste awesome. It's almost time to cook the calamari. So I've got my frying station set up over here. The calamari and the buttermilk is back here. Our seasoned flour is here on the dredge. And then my vegetable oil is here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on to medium high. And we wanna get it to about 375, 350 to 375. You can get an oil thermometer that sticks in there so you can monitor it. I use my growth thermometer and keep checking it when it gets to about 375. I turn the heat down to about medium and that'll keep it right about where I want it. And just keep an eye on it. If it gets brown too quickly, you know it's too hot. And then when you come out of the oil, I put it on this rack here with a paper towel underneath it and hit it with a little salt when it's just out of the oil so it'll stick to it. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna be standing here for like the next 20 minutes. You don't wanna leave this alone. Uh, you got a big thing of hot oil here. You don't wanna mess with it. So get comfortable, get ready, and it's gonna be time to fry. By the way, I've suffered an injury because I reached into the parchment paper thing and cut my, it's a thing. It happens when you cook. So I put a glove on because my hands are going to get wet. When you fry, it's good to have a wet hand and a dry hand. This is going to be my wet hand. I'm going to take just a handful of this to start, let it drain off in there, and put it in the flour. Maybe a little more. And now I'm going to toss it in the flour. The oil's still heating up, probably needs another couple minutes. I'm going to let it just kind of sit there and hang out. Squeeze it so the flour kind of stays on there. Make sure it's coated well. And then we'll let it sit there. And uh, check in my oil. I can see we are still got a way to go. So let's take another couple minutes and uh, we'll be frying. I think it's about ready. I've been checking the temperature. The one way I can check without um, using the thermometer is I'll take a little ball of buttermilk and flour, kind of a little piece of dough basically, drop it in, you can see it's ready to go. So I'm gonna start putting these guys in carefully because they're gonna uh, fry away pretty hard there. Drop them in away from each other. And putting all these in is gonna bring the temperature down of the oil. So, all right, they're all in there now. I'm gonna turn the heat down to about medium. You can see already, like it's getting crispy and looking good. I'm gonna take the next batch. I'm gonna try to do three batches of this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the next handful 
of calamari and put it in the flour. Let it hang out in there while this cooks. I think this is going to take about five minutes. I'm going to use these tongs to kind of stir it up a little bit, keep them agitated. But I'll know when they're ready to go when they turn that beautiful brown color. There's like a heat indicator on the food. So once it turns brown, it's going to be ready to go. I think these guys are ready to come out of the pool. So we're going to put them over here. Look how beautiful that looks, how crunchy that's going to be. I can already tell. Um, so the color almost looks like fried chicken. We're ready to come out. And you can see this, look at And that's going to be incredible. So take all these guys out. Let them cool off, let them drain, get some of that excess oil off of them. And then I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of salt on here. Now there's salt clearly in the buttermilk. There's a little bit of salt in the flour. But a little bit on top just to give it that little bit. Like when you bite into a french fry and you get that awesome little salty bite, that's it. Next batch going in. Okay, these are done. We're ready to go. Uh, this is the last one. I'm gonna set these over here, hit these with one more. Just a little drizzle of salt, and then off with the heat. Uh, let these guys cool down for a couple minutes, and I'm ready to eat. Time to eat. There's a couple ways you can eat these. Uh, you could have them as an appetizer. You could have them as a whole meal with just a simple salad on the side. You can cut a little piece of lemon, squeeze it on top, or have some marinara sauce. I'm gonna go with the sauce, give it a dip, and eat it. Mm. You can hear that crunch, it shatters in your mouth. Taste the salt, a little bit of the acid from the buttermilk, and of course, the squid. Because we only cooked it a short time, it's sort of tender, it's easy to eat. Man, this is awesome. I'm just gonna eat all that calamari for dinner tonight. This is easy to do, you can do it. Let's make calamari, this is cooked with a lang, let's go. It's time to eat. Five stars.